Tamson, it was really startling. Cameras were not allowed to shoot this scene, but I was there when Junior's mother started screaming. She was surrounded by court officers taking it out into the hallway. She just texted me in the last hour and said she had what she called a nervous breakdown when she saw a new video she had not seen before of her son Junior hiding under a sink in the bodega. She said when a deli worker opened a locked door and took Junior out of his hiding spot, that sealed her son's fate. Cross-examination of the junior trial star witness finally resumed after a startling outburst by the slain teen's mother abruptly halted testimony before lunchtime. I'm suffering every day. Leandra Felice, who's been praised for her strong public demeanor over the last 11 months, finally lost it, screaming and shaking in her seat as the defense hammered witness Kevin Alvarez, getting him to acknowledge he knew the suspects on the bodega sidewalk would have weapons before he dragged the 15-year-old out, showing the image of a solitary junior clutching his neck on the sidewalk after sustaining a lethal wound. No, no, the mother yelled before court officers carried her out and told photographers not to shoot the hallway scene. Earlier, Alvarez acknowledged he had led the convoy of four cars that hunted Junior, even depositing a pack of men on the corner of Third Avenue near St. Barnabas Hospital. Waters, when you cut Junior off to prevent him from going to the safety of the hospital, you were completely alone. Waters, you, if you chose to, could have driven off and left, yet you continued pursuing Junior. Waters, Junior is behind a locked glass partition. Alvarez, yes, sir. Waters, he was in relative safety on that side of the partition. Alvarez, yes, sir. Waters, but for you pushing through that door, Junior would have stayed on the other side of the door. Okay, when I left court, defense attorney Tony Messina was cross-examining Alvarez, and he said that he had been threatened in jail and that right now he is not being held in a jail setting. One new detail, he testified that he did not know that Junior had been killed until the next day when somebody called him on the phone. This all continues next week. Reporting live from Bronx Supreme Court, I'm Mary Murphy. PIX11 News, back to you in the studio.